Please don't tell me this thing is broken. Oh my god. Do you see this? This is a 1080 Ti for $495. This is the best graphics card you can get right now and he's saying it's brand new. <laughs> Do you know how much these things cost? These things are like $800. Look, I'm no stranger to spending a good amount of money on computer parts, but this is Craigslist. People get scammed on here literally all the time. Mm. Here's the problem. I need this card. Not need like I got an addiction. Peanut butter and crap thing. But need as in this will actually help me with my job. My main source of income right now is working as an editor and these cards by Nvidia have CUDA cores inside them, which drastically accelerate certain effects that I use that I put in videos for my clients. Right now, my 1070 Ti in my rig has 2,432 CUDA cores, and this thing has 3,584 cores. Wow. That's a 30% increase. Imagine if I told you, you could work 30% less time at your job. That's what buying this card means to me. Now, some of you are gonna ask, why don't you just suck it up and buy a brand new one? Hey you, listen, warranties are for Nah, it's just 30% off, which I think is worth the risk. So anyways, I've been texting this guy and he says that he's actually willing to let me test the card, which is a great sign because it makes me feel like he's not gonna scam me. Plus from all of my previous experiences on Craigslist, whenever someone's let me test the card or even offered to, it's pretty much always worked out. Anyways, he's actually in town a few days earlier than he said he was gonna be. So I'm actually gonna go meet up with this guy right now. We're going on a trip in my beige Toyota whip. Driving to Starbucks, my wallet is Okay, so I stopped at the bank to get cash and we're at the Starbucks now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually super nervous. Obviously I'm making this video because I think you guys will enjoy it. I just really hope this works out. I, I can't drop 500 on something that might not work in a week. If this guy didn't drive in from out of town, I actually probably would just flake right now. But uh, <laughs> It's a little late for that. Uh, all right, anyways, I gotta mic myself real quick. So uh, I'll see you guys inside. This, guy, this guy's a YouTuber. He, <laughs> he, said, he said something like we were gonna be famous after <laughs> this card. And so uh, you guys said you were, what, what kind of, uh, you're trying to do cloud mining? Is that what's going on? So we bought 15 or 20 cards of these cards to do GPU, set up GPU rigs. Mm -hmm. But the GPU mining in the last, like literally two months ago, has gone to yeah. the planet. So we're going, oh, we're going to build these rigs, you know, when it, we start making money, because running them, mm. it costs more than what we'd earn mining them. I got you. Oh my god, this thing is huge. Oh yeah, my lord. Awesome. Don't tell me I grabbed the wrong head size. I did. Ugh, oh my gosh. I'm freaking out. Wow. Yeah, when I saw this thing was dual fan, I was like, oh yeah, you know, this won't be that big. It doesn't look like it is, but... And then they, they start up and they're off the races. So. There we go, now it's posting. I'm just gonna let this run for like a minute and after that, it's all good. Wow. I mean, everything here, I mean, it looks great. Count it first, but let's yeah. see. 320, 340, 460. Yeah, right. So you tell me, that I, I, I count it 500, but obviously you count it too. Okay, so I have the card now. Those guys were super nice and everything, but this is not over yet. Those brothers that sold me this card were miners. And even though it said in the ad specifically that this thing was brand new and not mined on, it's still Craigslist. The only way we can know for sure that this card is legit is with more testing. So right now I'm going home. I'm gonna install the 1080 Ti into my main rig and I'm gonna use it to edit work videos for a week. If this card isn't busted by then, then I will stop freaking out. But until then, we are not in the clear.
Okay, so it's been a week. I've edited a few videos on this thing and it's performing pretty well from what I can tell, but the real test is going to be the benchmarks. We're gonna test CSGO, Fortnite, and PUBG all at the highest settings at 1440p. For me to give this card a pass, CSGO needs to average over 200 frames per second, Fortnite needs to average around 100 frames per second, and PUBG needs to average around 100 frames per second as well. Those numbers are coming from benchmarks that were tested on similar systems compared to mine. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get to the benchmarks. Please don't tell me this thing is broken. Oh my god. I'm actually just an idiot. I didn't plug in the HDMI cord. Oh my god. It's so stupid. No, please, 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 please. Oh my god. I can already see the fake and staged comments. I swear, I was testing a graphics card that I picked up on Craigslist literally yesterday, so that's why that thing's not playing. Okay, you know what? If this is staged, God, kill me right now. We loaded into a game, and right off the bat, we're looking at just under 300 FPS, which is insane. All right, now we get to actually play. Moving around, jumping, dropping to as low as 240, maxing out at 300 FPS. I don't even know if this game gets higher than that. I mean, I think it does, but. You see that? I'm clean. We're looking at a pretty solid FPS count. I mean, I said that we were aiming for uh, over 200 FPS and it, we're meeting that standard easily right now. I mean, in non-combat situations, we're maxing out. Okay, okay. I know you guys can't see it great because I'm not doing screen capture, but the graphics on this thing are absolutely amazing. Really excelling. Okay, so we dropped there a little bit, just under 200 FPS, but our average is well over 200 right now. So I would say CSGO gets a pass for me and we're gonna move on to the next game. And real quick, as proof, just before we leave, 1440p, high, 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 anti-aliasing as high as it can go, everything completely maxed out. All right, moving on to Fortnite now, and we are going to set the settings to as high as they can go. Yep, everything looks good. We're gonna apply it, we're gonna go back, and let's load into a lobby. Here we are right away in the lobby, and we are averaging pretty decently over 100 FPS. I mean, right now, we're not really doing anything. We got a few other players loaded on screen, but we're, we're looking at 120, 130 FPS average on the highest setting, so this is great. This is actually, again, beating my performance uh, expectations by Quite a bit. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, yeah. This is, this is a little graphic, huh? All right, let's see if we can find a weapon. That's not a weapon. Pick up the shotgun so we don't just get taken out right off the bat. No! Okay, yeah, I'm garbage at this game. But, you know, hey, uh, we still stayed well over 100 FPS. We dipped there for a second to 70, but... Everything completely maxed out, 1440p. Easily met our expectations the first two games. Moving on to the next one. All right, and for our final test, we are gonna be hitting up PUBG, the most popular, worst optimized game out there. Well, the worst optimized, most popular game out there. Everything to ultra. Yep, that looks about right. And in the preload screen, we're looking at just over 100. FPS, so let's see when we get in game if that holds up. Wow, this looks beautiful. Oh my god. We're actually barely above 100 FPS right now. We got some people on the screen. Obviously, we got no weapons, so nothing's really going on yet, but it looks decent. I mean, everything feels really responsive, super playable. What's up? Uh, falling off the plane. We are still well over 100 FPS. Oh, there we are. We're, we dipped to 91, 87. All right, so we're dip. Eh, yeah, so we're dipping below 100 now, but we're just about to land. So let's see. Parachute back up over 100 FPS. All right, so. All right, we got one kill. Still over 100 FPS. Okay, so we're at the point where we're probably gonna get killed just for walking around, but 
we're still staying well over 100 fps and i am enjoying this experience a lot everything's super high quality okay that came out of nowhere well the card turned out to be an absolute winner i'm really happy with the purchase and as far as i know i currently have the best deal on a used 1080 ti for this current time in the market and I just, I couldn't be more excited to keep using this thing as time goes on. If you've stuck along this far in the video, I really just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'm, I'm really grateful and appreciative that you guys enjoy what I make. And if you have the time to help me out, go ahead, leave a like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. I, I, again, I thank you guys so much for staying tuned and watching. I hope you found this as entertaining and, and as informative as I did. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day.